So, today I want to show one of probably the, one of the most popular pieces of scripture that we have heard growing up through church and Sunday school. Um, it's in Galatians. And it's Galatians five twenty two through twenty three. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against such things there is no law. So, what's important about the verse is the order that these are placed. They're not just randomly set. Before you can have anything, you have to have love. You have to love and be loved. Um... Because without that, you got nothing. Um, when you love and have love, then you will experience joy. And joy um, is an eternal satisfaction that nothing can shake. But when you have joy, that tends that then leads to you having peace. Um, you know, which example would be, you know, is any trial that you're going through or a really bad situation, um, you're okay with it. I mean, because you know that uh, God is going to take care of you. And when you have peace, that leads into patience. Because if you have peace, you're not going to be so anxious and so um, worried to have things done like immediately. You come to realize that God will do what he's going to do for you in his time. And so you learn to wait. Um... And if you have patience, then, it's, then that leads to, to kindness. Because if you're patient, then you can be empathetic for somebody who's struggling or maybe going through something that you went through. Um, and so it allows you to relate to that person. Um, which leads to goodness. Uh, kindness leads to goodness. You want to help that person or people who are suffering, who are hurting. Um, and then goodness leads to faithfulness and that uh, means that you will follow through with what God wants you to do without wavering. Because you know that God has your back. And faithfulness leads to gentleness because knowing that God has your back and being faithful to God for him to do it, to do what he's going to do for you or through you, um, it allows you to be kind-hearted, um, kind-hearted, uh, not so a I want to say quarrelsome. You don't tend to be overly aggressive. Um, you, know, you, you know how to handle situations and not be harsh or overcritical of someone who is hurting or going through something difficult. And then, of course, if you got gentleness, uh, you learn self-control. 
I, you, you learn how to control your emotions. You are not uh, so quick to get angry or annoyed or fed up. You know, and once you've acquired all these, um, then there's nothing that could, could stand against you or there's nothing more that can convict you or, or yeah, or, or convict you of, of wrongdoing or, or of any impurity in your motives, in your mindsets, in your actions. Because everything stems from the love that you have for that person or for the people. So, and this is exactly what Christ was. And this is what we need to strive to be. So with that, love you guys. I hope uh, somebody gets something from this. And, uh, and I pray that uh, my words are, are resonating what Jesus wants me to share with you today. So with that, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.